Welcome to ATVR News. We are your broadcasters. I'm Ruby. I'm Victoria. I'm Angelica. I'm Ethan. And I'm Tanya. Giving you the latest news in Salem. Breaking news tonight in Salem. A town girl, Betty Paris, as is in a coma after allegedly dancing in the woods with her fellow friends. The reason being is still unknown. Witnesses say she passed out as soon as they heard noise in the woods. News broadcaster Angelica is at the scene right now. Angelica? Breaking news. We just got the word that Betty Paris woke up after being unconscious for a whole day. Betty, how are you feeling? The whole town thinks this happened because of something unnatural. Are you okay? Let me know. <laughs> Betty, what happened in the woods? <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to take a break while Betty can um, calm down. Thank you, Angelica. Moving on. A woman named Elizabeth Proctor is being accused tonight of witchcraft after a girl named Abigail Williams have been stabbed during court. We have Victoria at the Proctor's house right now. Victoria, what's going on? Okay, now live from the Proctor's house, we're looking at Elizabeth. She's being accused of murdering, trying to murder Abigail Williams. Let's... Elizabeth, what do you have to say about getting accused of trying to murder Abigail? I would never do that. My house is so holy. I would never do witchcraft. Really? I don't think... I'm not sure about that. What about you, Cheever? What do you think about this? Abigail accused Elizabeth of stabbing her in the stomach with a poppet. She accused me. She accused you? That means you definitely did something to, like, make her do that. Like, what do you have to say about that? Abigail said that she has a poppet somewhere in this house. You have a poppet? What does the poppet symbolize? It symbolizes her witchcraft that she's doing on Abigail. What? Where's the poppet? Let's, let's see it. Let's look it's for somewhere it. somewhere in there. Oh, look, it's right there. Elizabeth, what do you have to say about what this? What is this? Mary gave it to me. What? Mary? So you're saying Mary is doing witchcraft? Why is there a needle in her stomach? What does the needle symbolize? <laughs> What does the needle symbolize? The witchcraft that she's doing. This is nonsense. Abigail. What? Abigail? Yes. What are you trying to say about Abigail? She, she's a Murray. She's ripped out of this world. <gasps> she, what? That's enough ripped evidence. Ripped out of this world? Come on, that's we're crazy going. talk. Where are you guys going? Thank you, Victoria. Another story tonight. A courtroom in is in session after two People have filed testaments towards the witchcraft accusations. The two testifying are Giles Corey and Mary Warren. Giles Corey's wife has recently been put in jail in, after witchcraft accusations, and Mary Warren was one of the girls in the woods the night of the chaos. Tanya is at the scene right now. Tanya, what's going on the, in the courtroom? I am in the courtroom right now where we, there are two people testifying that witchcraft is not real. As mentioned, Mary Warren was one of the girls who claimed witchcraft was real, but now she claims it's pretend. Let's see what she has to say. Mary, why do you testify against witchcraft after you sided with the girls? Because this is all pretense and they're all lying about all of this. And they're just like not telling the truth and they're not even like, they're like doing witchcraft and stuff and dancing. What's, what has changed your mind, though? Um, I have to, like, I'm trying to, like, help Elizabeth out. Like, you know, like, she's, I'm, like, I clean her house and stuff, you know. Like, I have to help her, you know. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Yellow bird. Yellow bird. Yellow bird. Yellow bird. Yellow bird. No, they're lying. Mary, stop it. You're lying. I'm not doing anything. No, please. Please don't hurt me. You you forced me to come here. What? You made me come here and tell them it was all a Mary, lie. Mary, what are you talking about? No, this is you. I'm sorry. He's making me do it. <sighs> this can't be happening. Thank you, Tanya. Now at the scene, Elizabeth's husband, John Proctor, is in a serious situation. He has to choose whether he should sign the contract that admits that he works with the devil or die. 
Ruby and Ethan are at the scene now. Guys, what is happening? We're reporting live here from the cell with John and Danforth. We're here today with John Proctor and Danforth. We will be interviewing them together to see what Danforth wants John Proctor to sign. So Danforth, what are you trying to have Don, John Proctor sign? Um, I'm trying to get him to sign his testament where he confesses that he was associated with the devil. If he signs this, then he is free to go. Okay, now we will hang this on the walls of the church. Wait, oh. why are you going to hang it on the walls, though? Um, so that the town of Salem can know that um, John here is associated with the devil. But I want my name. I want my dignity. Like, this is going to ruin my reputation. Yeah, but, like, you're associated with the devil, so we're just Okay, gonna... but you took everything from me. You took, like, everything. Like, I just want my name. Like, can I not keep my name? You, yeah, you're going to be free. But I just want my name. Like, like I, I don't want this no. hanged up. I don't no. want this hanged up in the church. No. <gasps> Can someone give me a New Testament? Why did you do that, John? Why? Because I just wanted my name. Like, that's my dignity. Like, ev- everything else was taken away from me. But, but you could have been free even though your name would have been up there. Are you going to take John away? Yeah, we're going to have to kill him. Then take me. Let's go. <gasps> he will be hanged. <gasps> well, that's what happened today in Salem. We're all obviously shocked after what just happened. John refused to sign away his life at what cost? At the cost of his death, though. And he will be hanged tonight.